What's up everyone? Today we are going to take a look at how to script dev products within your game. And no, this is not the, the Game Pass ordeal. This is a dev product, which is in fact different from the Game Pass as you can purchase the dev product multiple times. This is especially useful if you want revenue to start flowing into your bank account. I mean, your Roblox bank account, of course, you know, we have Roblox here, but uh, in all seriousness, dev products are great as you can purchase them multiple times. That way the user will keep, keep on, you know, coming in and purchasing your dev product or whatever. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and yeah, let's jump straight into the video. So, first of all, we have this button here in Star GUI, which has, uh, you know, the screen GUI and a button inside, nothing too special. Um, whoops, let's not move the button there. In here, all right. So, the button says, click to buy 100 diamonds. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Also here in server script service, we have a script here. And that script has the leaguer stats. So if you don't know how to create the leaguer stats, watch my other video on how to create it. It should be showing on the top right screen right now. Sorry for the plug. It had to happen. All right. So we're going to play the game and see how this works. And if you, oh, there we go. On the top right screen, you have my name and the diamond. So right now it's zero, but it's going to change soon. So let's stop this game again. If you want to know how to create the leader stat, the, I have a video on that. So right now we're going to create a local script within this little screen GUI thing. So local script, there we go. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the marketplace service. So marketplace service. Oh my God, my spelling. So you do game, get service, and then marketplace service. Well, oh, not A-B test service, marketplace service. After this marketplace service is the service that handles all transactions with the marketplace and that includes uh, game passes and developer products. So next we're going to do is we are going to get the, the parent of this, which is the G screen GUI. So we're going to try to get the text button here, right here. If you don't know, we can do a text button. So let's do button equals script.parent, which is the screen GUI and the text button. And there we go. Now we have these two variables and we are ready to roll. One more thing is that we need to first create our dev products. So let's go on into the model section. No, not the model section, home section. And you see this game settings right here. Yeah, let's go on the game settings and we're going to go to monetization. So here we have the, you know, the, how you're going to monetize your games. You, you either want to, you know, like, pay your access or use VIP servers. Uh, but we're gonna interested in this dev products here. So let's click create one. All right, we're gonna edit this one because right now it's it's not saved yet. So let's click edit. All right, we're just gonna name it 100 diamonds, you know, pretty straightforward. And we're gonna change the Robux amount into, um, I don't know, like 20 Robux for 100 diamonds. Bear in mind, there is a marketplace fee because Roblox does collect taxes to keep their services running. So yeah, marketplace fee, we're not going to worry about that. But uh, now that we have the dev product here, we're going to take a look at the product ID, which is this string of numbers here. Now, this string of numbers, we will try to, uh, let's see if we can copy and paste that. Um, I don't, well, we'll just have to memorize this. So, 102784. Let's do that first. Uh yes, okay. We're we're okay. So local product ID is gonna be one zero two and then I already forgot. So let's go back and look. I they should have make it copyable, but okay. Uh one zero two seven eight four. All right, seven eight four. Seven eight four. And let's go back. Um Seven eight four eight two six two. All right, so eight two six two. Up uh, eight two six two. Let's make sure one zero two seven eight four eight two six two, or is it eight two six one? It's eight two six one. So I was right. All right, there we go. So now we have the developer product and the ID associated with it. All we have to do with this logo script is we're gonna bind a function to the button. So all we have to do right now is we're going to do text button dot activated connect with a function here and 
we are going to do this nifty trick. So we do marketplace service, colon, prompt product purchase, which is the second one right over here. And we are going to type uh, game dot players, whoops, players dot local player, comma, and uh, product ID. So product ID. So now once we play the game, we should be able to test and you know the marketplace thing will prompt so let's just test it and there we go so we have the product want to buy the product 100 diamonds for 20 robux of course on roblox studio they won't charge your actual account so it's a test purchase i could just click buy but as you can see nothing happened and that's bad because we want you know 100 diamonds in our account so we are going to create another script here in server script service. Let's add a script here. And we are going to tell what happens once you press the purchase button. So again, we're going to start with the marketplace service. Game get service. Marketplace service. Nope. I keep on. Okay. Marketplace service. Next, we're going to get the player service. So players equals game. Get service. Players. And then. Next, we are going to get the product ID. So, product ID is we're going to say, uh, you, by the way, there could be multiple products. So, we can do uh, product ID like one, two, or three. It doesn't matter. But I'm just going to do product ID, and we're going to copy and paste the product ID associated with it. So, it's this one, and boom. So, next, we are going to, whoops, we, we are going to, create a function here so a local function let me just do it local function oh god local function so we do it process receipt and uh the parameters will be the receipt oh god it's hard to spell receipt info so it's gonna take in the function receipt and then it's gonna put a bunch of info inside this will tell us so local play uh, player equals players get player by user ID, which is this one right here. So we're just gonna get that, and we are going to receipt uh, info dot player ID. So dot player ID. Now we are going to take a look at how to script. Uh, the logic for the you know the product so what happens if the player leaves and you know fails like makes the purchase but then just crashes or something so this is helping us to you know make sure there isn't like a angry karen's coming back wanting refunds for something they didn't purchase so we have if not player so if the player is not non-existent then we do an enumerator um so we do enum dot uh, product purchase decision so you see this one and then dot not process yet so that tells us that when the when you know when the player is not existing we're not just going to product uh process the uh purchase so what is let's see what's uh let's see why why let me see why it's hey i like it red let me see oh return sorry return there we go, there we go, because we, it's, we have a function here. Anyways, uh, so that handles what happens if, you know, the player accidentally crashes or something. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to take a look at what happens when the player actually, uh, you know, gets, uh, gets the product. So when we press the purchase button, what happens when we actually do it? So we do receipt info dot product ID. And then we're going to set equal to uh, product ID here. So again, don't get these confused. This is part of the receipt info. And this is the variable that we declared up here. So we could technically just write this. But, you know, if you don't want to memorize some numbers, you can just set it to the, the variable here. Then, okay, then we are going to do the server side logic. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, give the player 100 diamonds. Now, how to do that, we will get the player. So we'll do game dot, okay, let's set a variable first. So local diamond equals, uh, 
players. I am bracket player dot name. Do this, and you won't get error because if you do the if you do um let me just show you if you do this you'll probably get error saying p player is not found or something. So don't do that. Just do player dot name. There it, it's just I'll go, I won't go into detail, but player dot name leaguer stats and then diamonds. So that's our diamonds, and we are going to do diamonds plus equals. So this is equivalent to diamonds equals diamond plus 100. This works, but this also works. So we are going to do plus equals 100 here. And then after we are done, we're going to tell the Roblox engine that we have done with the purchase. The customer it will be satisfied with the purchase. So we're going to do product purchase decision dot purchase granted. So boom. And there we go. That is the server side logic. It will be in server script service. The last thing we need to do is we are going to connect the function into the marketplace event. So we're going to do marketplace service dot, uh, let's see here, prompt process receipt. So this function right here, and we're going to set that equal to process receipt, but the lowercase function. So process receipt. So because this is uppercase, this is lowercase, and the lowercase describes the thing that we just created. So, and once we are done, we should be able to play the game and get, you know, 100 Robux. I mean, not 100 Robux, 100 diamonds by purchasing the Game Pass. So right now it's loading. All right. So zero diamonds currently. We're going to press. All right, let's purchase. And, oh. Let's see here. Ah, my bad, my bad. So uh, we're, we can't really do this. We're just gonna have to do it the long way, but um, it has to do something with the leader stats not being an actual number. It's actually like an instance value, so that's what I'm describing up here. So you can't really add an object. That's not how it works. You can't really just add like A plus B, you know. So we're just gonna do it this way. So we're gonna copy and paste, and we're just gonna do plus 100. So just like that. Uh, make I'm gonna make sure that this other other works. Uh, yep. So let's play and uh, yep, that was just a you know horrible mistake. But don't worry, nothing bad happened. Uh, well, I mean it, it will be bad if the customer bought it and nothing happened. But let's buy it and uh, let's see what it's Apple. It's the same error. Okay, so instance and a number. Oh. I am so dumb because, in fact, the instance is the invite. We got to do, okay, so what we have to do is we have to do diamonds.value because the diamonds itself, it's actually a, it's actually an object. So we all get the object property. So guys, make sure to do this. We do diamonds.value. Yeah, yeah. So we do diamonds.value and um, that should work now because because we're actually calling the like the value of the diamonds not the actual container itself if you get what i mean so now we're gonna click buy again hopefully this works we do you want to buy the product 100 diamonds for 20 robux and let's buy it and would you look at that we have 100 diamonds now again this is a dev product so this isn't game pass game pass will be more complicated and i will cover that in the next video but with a Game Pass, you'll have to implement a data store as, you know, it's a one-time purchase. You don't want your diamonds to reset to zero or whatever because, you know, if I stop my game, like, let's, let's stop my game, and then we restart our game, we'll see that our diamonds reset to zero. And that's not good if you want to purchase a Game Pass. So let's just, you know, we'll talk about that in the next video, but we can just buy this over and over again. And if this was an actual player, you'll get um, about, uh, let me see, about 17 Robux? No, 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 not 17. 16 Robux because of the marketplace fee. Robux takes away some of the Robux for their for their own, own thing. So, but yeah, as you can see, it works fine. And if you enjoy this video, get that button a thumbs up and be sure to like and subscribe. Turn that notification bell on. And yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.